name is Jackie Hermans and I'm the team lead for Night Stop with 360 Kids and I've been working for 360 Kids for two years. So as the Night Stop team lead, I supervise the two staff members that I have who assist with the program. I oversee the overall coordination of the program, create marketing and promotional plans, do outreach for new hosts, and create outreach plans uh, for the youth, uh, as well as just ensuring that we're following the policies and procedures related uh, to De our DePaul accreditation. So Night Stop is a program that has been running really successfully for the past 30 years and it launched in the UK. An organization called DePaul has created an accreditation program for this. So 360 Kids, we launched our very own Night Stop program March 2017. So far we've provided over 350 bed nights, we've helped over 25 youth find a safe place with the program. We have helped kids be able to reunite with their family members, which is the main priority of Night Stop. When a youth gets kicked out of their home or they feel forced to leave, Night Stop is there to help them to have a safe place so they don't have to go to a shelter, they don't have to be in a bus shelter or sleeping on a rooftop. They're in a safe home with a family and with a warm meal in their, be in their belly. And then at the same time, we're wrapping our supports around them to try to get them back in their home if that's a safe option for them. If it's not a safe option, then 360 Kids, we work with them to find longer term accommodations. So, so far we've been making a really positive impact and I'm so excited because now we have the opportunity to be able to further expand this program. So the type of youth that use the program tend to be quite diverse. We do have some youth that have used Night Stop because of cultural conflicts at home, maybe not wanting to engage in a prearranged marriage, um, maybe the rules at home are just too strict and they're wanting to be Canadian teens. We've also have had youth that are simply just having arguments with their parents and they both, the parents and the youth, need a break from each other. We've had families that have moved away, but the youth wants to finish schooling in their own community, so they refuse to leave with the parents. We've also have youth who have experienced abuse within the home. Maybe there is mental health or drug addictions within the home. Um, we've had some youth that have needed to be the parents in the home and they just can't take it anymore and their own mental health has been starting to decline and so they reached out for help. I wouldn't say there's one day that I can really call average. It's usually a whole mixture of things. I get the pleasure of working with my team. So I have my youth and host family members who are just rays of sunshine in my life and in the work day. So I get to talk, uh, talk to them, talk about the youth that they've been doing intakes with. We decide together whether we feel like they're going to be a good match. We talk about the communication that needs to happen to ensure that they're moving forward with their process. We communicate with the hosts to make sure that they're getting the support that they need. Some days I might be assisting with an intake. Other days I'll be doing a presentation for one of our referral partners or maybe even get to do a media interview. That's always fun too. What surprised me about the journey or the job has been that any family, any family, it doesn't matter what income, it doesn't matter what cultural background, it doesn't matter what type of career these families have, any family can have problems within the home. And it doesn't seem surprising to me now, but as I started this program and started doing intakes with you, I, I was shocked. You know, families that have huge incomes, massive mansions, and you know, families that are engineers or social workers or child and youth workers, everyone can have problems within their home. And it just really amplified the importance of having a program like this to be able to support those families when it happens.